Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showcasing for you this really awesome rare, well super rare in fact, I haven't seen many of these around, Sally Acorn, Sonic Hedgehog, Save the World, Sydney Australian plush. Now, as I just said there, you can only obtain these in Australia at the time in their uh, Sega World. And uh, there was quite a lot of these plushies from the uh, Sega World Sydney range. And uh, this is one of them. Now, I'll probably say this is one of the rarest pieces you can uh, find um, in the actual whole lot. Uh, this is actually a um, hand puppet, which is rather unique. You don't really get many of them these days, even in the past. And uh, yeah, you don't really get many plushies of Sally Acorn. Uh, which also has featured in a cartoon called uh, Satan, it was like the Hedgehog Satan cartoon, which I watched when I was uh, very young. And uh, yeah, these things go for extremely lot of money, and they're just you know so expensive. It's it's crazy. When one of these goes up an auction, or even a private sale, they just go for hundreds and hundreds. I managed to get hold of this for well, it actually cost me quite a few hundred myself. So I did pay a little bit for it, but in the end, guys, I think it's well worth it. If you're a heavy collector like, like myself and really go after the rare, you know, bits that appear to appeal to you, then then that's that's what you do, I guess. You pay a lot of silly money. So uh, let's go over a few details. Um, as you can see, it's rather rather a nice plush, very vibrant colours, um, very dopey looking uh, features though. Very cute with dopey looking features, and as you can see, the the eyes. I don't know if this was a manufacturer error or whatever, but. As you can see, the dots of the eyes are in the wrong places. Uh, this one here, in fact. So uh, that's kind of a maybe, maybe more unique. Maybe who knows? Um, you can see she has a plastic nose. And you can just about see her little mouth there, kinda. Um, so the eyes and the nose made out of plastic. And yeah, it's quite a nice plush for what it is. I mean, the hair's quite funky, right? I mean, it's very. Uh, it sort of reminds me of them. Um, Troll, little troll figurines are about that big. That, um, with the little crazy hair, this sort of reminds me of that in the 90s. So, yeah, kind of weird. But, um, no, it's really cool. I mean, if I can put my hand in there and show you guys, still use it. And you can control it like this. Kind of unique. Kind of cool. So, yeah, she does have a touch tag on her. It's inside. Uh, and it's actually in good nick. Really in good condition. Tells you there the materials are stuffed with polyester fibre and is recommended for three years and up. And you have uh, the Sega logo there and the year 1997, so this was published in 1997, I believe. Uh, so, yeah, there isn't much more to say about the plush from most of you guys, but um, oh, yeah, it still has the plastic piece there where the tag would have been, so the shame doesn't really come with the tag. Um, the ears are very little, you know, the ears are quite small, quite dimpy. Uh, I do like the effect of the eyebrows, that 3D effect of the eyebrows. Pretty cool, very unique. And I do like the stitching work and everything around the eyes, it's a really nice touch. But yeah, um, it's really well made, it's a really nice uh, piece to get hold of, and you can get hold of it. I definitely, you know, recommend uh, you trying to get it for a reasonable price. But unfortunately, that's not the case these days, they're very rare. So uh, yeah, that, that's it for the video guys, uh, thanks for joining me, um, as usual thanks for all the support and the comments and uh, all the nice compliments you give me, I really appreciate it, I'm really thankful for all my fan base. and uh, yeah, uh, stay tuned guys, I'll be back with more videos and reviews, take care.